calendar in the heavens. New Year's, New Moons, Passover, and Pentecost. Happy to be an April Fool. Table of Contents. Introduction. New Year's. New Moons, Seeing is Believing. Passover. The Search for Leaven. The Offering of the Wave Sheaf. The Days of the Passion of Christ. The Preparation of the Passover. The Jews' Passover. Pentecost. Summary. For Further Study. Jesus said, quote, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. End quote. Matthew five seventeen through nineteen. Gem thoughts. Quote, and what was done in type in the ministration of the earthly sanctuary is done in reality in the ministration of the heavenly sanctuary. End quote. The Great Controversy, page four twenty. Quote, in like manner, the types which relate to the second advent must be fulfilled at the time pointed out in the symbolic service. Under the Mosaic system, the cleansing of the sanctuary, or the great day of atonement, occurred on the tenth day of the seventh Jewish month, Leviticus 16, 29 and 34. So it was believed that Christ, our great high priest, would appear to purify the earth by the destruction of sin and sinners, and to bless his waiting people with immortality. The tenth day of the seventh month, the great day of atonement, the time of the cleansing of the sanctuary, which in the year 1844 fell upon the 22nd of October, was regarded as the time of the Lord's coming. This was in harmony with the proofs already presented that the 2300 days would terminate in the autumn and the conclusion seemed irresistible, end quote. The Great Controversy, pages 399 and 400. Study Thoughts Would it not seem strange for inspiration to base an irresistible conclusion on a time which no longer had any significance after the cross and had lost all meaning? Likewise, why was the Holy Spirit poured out upon the disciples on the very day of Pentecost if it also had been nailed to the cross. And lastly, why are many Christians today going to be holding unification and prayer vigils, which will be concluding on Pentecost, at which time they are expecting an outpouring of the Spirit if they don't think God will respect the day? Introduction in 2005, many Christians will be celebrating Easter Sunday on March 27, according to the calculations and command of the Roman Catholic Church. What is significant about this is that the day they will be celebrating will be about a month before the time of Passover, the actual time when Christ died and was resurrected. This discrepancy doesn't make much difference to most of the professed Christians for after all, they are already accepting Rome's declarations concerning Sunday keeping and many other ordinances, including celebrating as Christ's birthday, a day which is not even close, that is, December 25. Neither are those who lead out in these things embarrassed by them, as they should be, for they have for so long accepted the customs and traditions of men instead of the plain and simple declarations of God that their consciences have been dulled to the point that they do not seem to care what God thinks about the matter. Those who have determined that March 27 is to be the date to memorialize Christ's resurrection are using the new moon on March 11 to 12 as the beginning of the new year. They will be totally disregarding the biblical method for determining the beginning of a new year and therefore totally disregarding the actual God-given time of the year when he suffered, died, and was resurrected. As that new moon in March is about 10 days before the vernal equinox, 
it will not signify the start of the new year because it is actually the last new moon of the year ending at the equinox. The next new moon on April 9 to 10 will be the first new moon after the equinox and thus the first one in the new year.